Election Day is just three days away, and while more than 100,000 people have already voted here on Oahu, some voters might still have their ballot at home. Mika Miyashima shows us how to fill it out and send it in to make sure your vote, your voice, counts. You have just a few more days to turn in your mail-in ballots, and for those of you who haven't done so so far, here's what it looks like. It comes sealed in an official election mail envelope from the Elections Division. And inside, you'll find three documents, the official ballot, a secrecy sleeve, and the return envelope. Let's take a look at the ballot. On the top left-hand corner, you'll pick the political party for which you want to vote. There are seven to choose from. That includes the Green Party, the Constitution Party, the Aloha Aina Party, Republican, Libertarian, and Democratic parties. You can also vote as nonpartisan. So the first step in selecting your party by filling in the box next to its name with a black or blue pen. You have to fill the box completely, and once you've chosen your party, you'll choose your candidates from that party's selection of the ballot. All races are grouped together by party. Again, make your choice by completely filling in the box in black or blue ink. It is important to note, if you vote for more than one candidate in each race, your vote will not be counted. There's also races for the Office of Hawaiian Affairs and certain county races. Once you've made all of your selections, you'll fold up the ballot and put it into the green secrecy sleeve. This is completely optional, but it's just to make sure your votes stay confidential. Then, drop the sleeve-covered ballot into the postage paid return envelope. After you've sealed it, add your signature under the affirmation statement. This is one of the most important steps. If the return envelope is not signed, your votes will not count. When you're all done, you can mail your ballot or you can drop it off in an election center or ballot box near you. In order to be counted, the ballot must be received not postmarked by election day at 7 p.m. If you've made a mistake on your ballot or you need a replacement, don't use whiteout. Instead, call your county elections division for a new one. You can stick with us on air, online, and across social media for your election coverage all the way through the general election in November. And a reminder, you can also download our free KITV4 app for breaking news alerts sent right to your phone.